And the first nutrient I want to talk about is alpha-lipoic acid. Um, I'm referencing an article here uh, that was published in the Review of Diabetic Studies uh, very, very recently. And uh, this particular article actually appeared online in February of 2010. And uh, the title of the article is Alpha-Lipoic Acid and Diabetic Neuropathy, another really fine article. And there have been many articles that have been written about the usage of alpha-lipoic acid in diabetic patients. And the fact of the matter is, is that it is one nutrient that is essential to health. And when you do have diabetic neuropathy, it can help speed the healing process. Because one of the things that it's very good at is helping your body process energy more efficiently. In fact, most of the nutrients that we recommend for the treatment of peripheral neuropathy or the clinical co-treatment of peripheral neuropathy have the net effect of boosting cell energy. Remember, this is also why we use various forms of neurostim and now added uh, low-level laser therapy and LED. The whole idea is to get the body, especially the nervous system, to utilize energy more efficiently. So alpha-lipoic acid is no exception. However, there's a couple of cautions. Number one is, personally, I don't think alpha-lipoic acid or any nutrient should be given by itself. For the simple reason is that they act synergistically and they have additive effects. One of the things I have found in my work with peripheral neuropathy patients in the clinic is that oftentimes we're able to give patients relatively low doses of a lot of these supplements because we use combinations and the combination nutrients really seem to produce very profound effects. The combinations are somewhat universal but not always and there are some contraindications that we'll talk about as we get into some of the other supplements. Not so much with alpha-lipoic acid, except the big uh, takeaway I have for you as a patient with alpha-lipoic acid is if you are diabetic or you do suffer from metabolic syndrome or think you may, you've got to be monitoring your blood sugar very carefully because what we have seen in our clinics especially is that when we start to administer alpha-lipoic acid to patients along with some of the other nutrient cofactors that we commonly recommend, not only do we see patients lose significant weights, in fact, I'm reminded of one patient here in our clinic about 18 months ago who, with no other change at all, lost 12 and a half pounds in six weeks simply by taking the supplement program that we put him on. I'm also reminded of another patient who not only lost a significant amount of weight, but also dropped her blood sugars by over 100 points and thus needed to reduce her medications. So again, this is the caveat or the buy beware, so to speak, is we don't want you to self-treat, we don't want you to self-medicate. As you start to utilize these supplements, you have to realize that they will affect certain blood parameters and they have to be monitored. One of the things that I really like as a clinician about alpha-lipoic acid is that there is very good evidence to be giving it to patients with diabetic peripheral neuropathy. Again, our caveat, if you will, is to make sure that it's always being used under some significant uh, supervision. And by significant supervision, if you are diabetic, we suggest that you monitor your blood sugar first thing in the morning fasting, two hours after lunch, two hours after your evening meal, and then right before bed.